students, let's begin with a new chapter that is learning curve. Now see, when I start a company of 10 members, in the beginning of the first month, the efficiency of the workers will be very less compared to the second month or the one year, right? I, I can tell that for when they complete one year in the company, then the efficiency of those workers will be exactly double than whatever they work in the beginning of first month, right? So that is learned under learning curve, okay? So here we deal with the efficiency, labor efficiency, okay? So what is learning curve? Let us see. Learning curve is defined as the curvilinear relation between the decrease in average labor hours per unit with increase in the total output. When the total output is increased, the decrease in average labor hours per unit will rise. Okay. So that is the so learning curve is giving the relation between or the curve linear means it will be represented in terms of a curve. Okay. Where the relation is mentioned between the decrease in the average labor uh, hours per unit with increase in the total output. Okay. And one more important thing here is the definition of learning curve ratio. What is learning curve ratio? This is an important definition for one marks in the exams. Okay. There will be a compulsory one definition under this. So you have to learn this definition is properly. Okay. So learning curve ratio is exactly the slope of the learning curve is called as the learning curve ratio. Okay. So this one you should write slope of the learning curve is called as the learning curve ratio. And it is always expressed as a percentage. Okay, the expression will be in terms of percentage. Now, how to find out learning curve ratio using the formula? See, whenever the definition is asked, don't write the formula in the exam. Okay, whenever definition is asked, you have to write the learning curve ratio is the slope of the learning curve. Okay, so when the definition is asked, you should not write the formula and key. Formula is different and the definition is different. This gives the formula for learning curve ratio. That is, average labor cost of first 2n units divided by average labor cost of 1n unit. Meaning here is, when you take the average labor cost of some units here, exactly its double should be taken in the numerator. Okay? If that is there, then only this learning curve ratio formula can be utilized in solving the problems. So always remember the average labor cost in the denominator whatever is there, its exact double units should be there in the numerator. Okay. For example, how it is? The average labor cost of a production of 100 units is rupees 75. So they have given average labor cost of 100 units. If the learning curve ratio is 0 0.75, let me write. Learning curve ratio, what is given? So this is the solution. So given learning curve ratio. Learning curve ratio is equal to 0 0.75. Okay. And what is given? The average labor cost. Right. Average labor cost of 100 units is given. Okay. Of 100 units is equal to how much? It is equal to 75 rupees. So rupees 75. Now what to find out? We have to find the average cost of production of 50 units. So let me take, let the average labor cost of 50 units be equal to x. Okay, be equal to rupees x. Then by this formula, see, which is double and which is half of that. Here we have taken a average cost of 100 units and this what is to find out is 50 units. So, 50 units have to take in the denominator, 100 units have to take in the numerator. Therefore, what is asked here? They have to find, therefore, x is equal to, according to the formula, or you can write, average labor cost of 50 units is equal to, of 50 units is equal to, how can I write? 50 units is equal to, it is average labor cost of, Average labor cost of 100 units divided by learning curve ratio. Right? I am interchanging. Here I have to take 50 units. Here it is 100. Therefore, what is the average cost of 50 units? You interchange these two. Okay? So you get the average cost of 
50 units. This is equal to they are given an average labor cost of 100 units at 75 rupees divided by learning cover ratio is 0 0.75. So when you divide, you will get this is 100. Therefore, rupees 100 is the average labor cost of 50 units using this formula. Okay, one more example. The average labor cost for the 150 units, so let me take average labor cost of 150 units, they are given, right? Units is equal to how much? It is rupees 50. The next one, when the output was doubled to 300 units, then means when this is doubled three, to 300 units, then the average labor cost of those 300 units is equal to rupees 25. And what we have to find out? Learning curve ratio we have to find out. And learning curve percent. Okay. Learning curve ratio we have to find out. And learning curve percent we have to find out. Okay. So let me write the formula. What we know? We know that learning curve ratio. Right. Learning curve ratio in this case is equal to. Is equal to. It is average labor cost of. See, denominator should have half of the numerator, right? Or you can tell numerator has the units double than the denominator. So, which one I have to take here? The highest one I have to take. 300 units I have to take in the numerator and its half should be taken in the denominator. So, it is average labor cost of 150 units in the denominator. Okay, now substitute. This is equal to average labor cost of 300 units is 25. And average labor cost of 300 units is, sorry, 150 units is 50. So, again, this is 1 by 2 which is 0.5. So, this is our learning curve ratio. That is done. Now, we have to find out learning curve percent. So, how to convert that into percentage? So, it is learning curve percentage. Learning curve percentage is equal to learning curve ratio in, in terms of 100. Right, okay. Learning curve percent is equal to 0 0.5 into 100 percent. Okay. So that is equal to 50 percent. Okay. So this is about the learning curve ratio. Next one. Learning effect. The next concept is learning effect and it is very very important under 5 mark questions. Okay. 5 mark questions will be asked under this concept. Learning effect. Therefore, you have to learn this. Okay. So, a learning effect is the efficiency in performance of a laborer increases by repeatedly doing the task, which improves the production. See, that is what I told you in the beginning. We are dealing with labor efficiency here. That is what they are telling. Efficiency of the performance of a laborer increases by repeatedly doing the task. That is what. In the beginning, it will be less compared to the after some days, right? So, for example, if 80% learning effect is given, what is the meaning of that? 80% learning effect means that when the cumulative output is doubled, the cumulative average labor hours per unit will be 80% of the previous level. That is what? In the beginning, it will be less, okay? So, after some years or some time, it will be 80% of the previous one. So, that is what we are doing here. Let us see how it will be dealt in the problems. Now, listen, when the time required to produce one unit is 100 hours, then the table of, see when they give the learning effect of some percentage, then according to that we are going to solve the problem. Okay. Now, what they have given is when the time required to produce one unit is 100 hours, then table of 90% learning effect will be. See, units produced in the beginning we take as 1. Then what is the total output in 1 in units? That is 1 unit taken, so 1 itself. Okay. Cumulative average time per unit, they have told you. The time per unit is 100 hours. For 1 unit it is 100 hours. So for 1 unit, the time, cumulative average time per unit is 100. So I take 100 here. So what is the total hours? 100 only. There is no change. My right? total hours, 100 itself. And then average R per additional will be 100 only. There is no change in the time. Now, if I take one more unit, unit produced is one more. Okay, if I take one more labor, it 
say the mean. One labor is already was existing. One more labor is waiting. What is the total output in units? One already was there. One more already have, again have taken. So total output is two. Now what is the learning effect? Ninety percent. So cumulative average time per unit will be ninety percent learning effect. So ninety percent of this hundred I have to take. Okay. What is ninety percent of hundred? It is ninety itself. Now, what is the total hours? Now see, 90 hours per unit into two. So it is 90 into two. You are right. 90 into two units, which is 90 hours per unit into number of units two. So that will give you total hours. That is 180. So this is the answer. 180. Now see, what is the average hour per additional? That is. What is the average hour per additional? What is the addition here? You have to calculate this. Like this. 180 minus 100. Total hours divided by difference in the output. Okay. To difference in the total hours divided by difference in the total output. Output. So it is difference in the total hour is 180 minus 100 divided by difference in the total output is 2 minus 1. So it says 180 minus 100, 80 by 1 which is 80. The next one, again if I take one more unit, I mean, two more units here, this is two units I will consider here, okay. And if I add this two, two here again, two if I add double, doubling, okay. Two are over there, two I have already added again, so total output will be 4. So what will happen here, 90% learning effect of the previous efficiency I have to take. 90% of this 90 I have to take. What is 90% of 9, uh, 90? It is 9, 90 into 10 divided by 100. So you get this as 81, isn't it? When you calculate. Therefore, this is the efficiency of, I mean, cumulative average time per unit, per 1 unit, right? So this is for 1 unit, but how many number of units are there? 4 are there. So what is the total hours? 1 unit. Uh, Utilizes 81 hours into number of units is the total hours. So it is 81 into 4. Okay. Inside the brackets. Because this is the calculation we are doing here. So what is this? Uh, it is 5. Sorry. 324. Isn't it? So this answer is 324. That's right. right. Okay. This is about the total hours for 4 units. Now what we will do to find out average R per additional. See, it is difference in the total R compared to the previous one and difference in the total output. Right. So, it is uh, 324 minus 180 divided by what is it, 4 minus 2. We get this is equal to 72. So, this is the average R per additional is 72 R's. Now the next one, suppose if you are going for adding 4 more units, doubling, okay, the previous one, then it is 4 previous plus 4, total it will be 8. So what will be, it is here, so 90% of the previous one it will be, 90% of the previous one per unit, so 90% of this 81 we have to find out, what is that equal to, it is equal to 72.9 when you calculate, okay. Then what we have to do here, we have to find out total hours. This R is for one unit into number of units gives the total R. So it is 72.9 into number of units is 8. So we get this answer as 583.2. Okay. Done. The next one, what how to find out the average R per additional? It is difference between the total R's. Minus difference between the total output. So it will be 72.583.2 minus 324 divided by that number of 8 minus 4. So again, this is equal to when you simplify, you get the answer is equal to 64.8. Okay, this answer is here. Next one, if I am increasing the units, doubling, okay. Again, if I take 8 extra, then total will be 8 plus 8, 16, right. So, I will stop it here. It is according to the given problem, okay. Where you have to stop will be judged using the given problem. Now, see, here 16 units. 
Now what I have to do? 90% learning effect of this 72.9 I have to find out. When you calculate, you will get the answer for this as 65.6. Okay, that is 90% of this equation. See, now how to find out this? This is total as. That is total time used for unit is 65.6 and into number of units is the total hours used, right? So it is 65.6 into number of units is 16. So when you solve this, you will get the answer as 1,049.76, okay? So it is 1,049.76. So this is about total hours. Then you have to find out the average R per additional. What is the average for R per additional? It is difference between these two minus so divided by the difference between these two. So it is 11,049.76 minus 583.2 divided by 16 minus 8. When you do that calculation, you will get the value as 58.2. Okay, so the total hours for the total hours used for 16 units will be equal to 11,049.76. Okay, so 11,049.76 is the total hours used for 16 units. Okay, so that is how we are proceeding for learning effect of 90%. Similar way, if the given content is same, then the time required to produce one unit is 100 hours. Then table of 60% learning effect will be as the columns will be as follows here and number of units in the beginning I take as 1. What is the total output in units? 1 itself because I have taken 1 only here. So it is 1 itself total will be and the cumulative average time per unit is given as 1 unit is 100 hours. So according to that I have to take it is 100 here. Then total hours will be number of hours here into number of units. So I get 100 itself. Then average hour per additional is 100 itself in the beginning. Is, right. Now if I double the unit, that is one more if I take. Total 1 plus 1 will be 2. Right. Now I have to find out cumulative average time per unit. How is that? Using this one, learning effect. Right. So I have to take learning effect here. So it is 60% of... 100 I have to find out. Correct? So 60% learning effect into number of hours that is equal to 60. So this is about the cumulative average time per unit. Okay. Here total hours 60 into number of units. So 60 into 2 I get. So it is 120. Okay. Then this one. Average hour per additional will be difference of these two divided by difference of total output. So it is 120 minus 100, 20 divided by 2 minus 1, which is 1. Therefore, we get 20 by 1, which is 20. Okay, similar way we are doing. I am not writing the calculations here. Similar way. Then, if I double the output, again 2 if I add, then 2 plus 2, I get 4, right? Then how to find out 60% learning effect? That is cumulative average term time per unit. That is 60% of the 60 I have to take. Okay, that is equal to how much? It is equal to 36. Calculate. Now, 36 is the cumulative average time per unit. How to find out total hours? This time per unit into number of units. That is 36 into 4. That is equal to 144 unit. Right. So, this is the total hours. That is equal to time per average time per unit into number of units. Okay. So 144 unit. Now how to find out this average R per additional? That is the difference between these two. That is 144 minus 120 divided by 4 minus 2. So you get that is equal to how much? 24 divided by 2 which is 12. Okay. That is how we have to find out average R per additional. Now the next one, if I double the efficiency, that is 4 here, 4 plus 4, total output will be 8 per unit, right? So average cumulative, sorry, cumulative average time per unit will be 60% learning effect, so 60% of the previous one, that is 60% of 36. 
that is equal to calculate you will get that as 21.6 okay when you calculate now how to find out the total loss 21.6 that is time per hour into number of minutes so it is 21.6 into 8 you will get that as 172.8 is it okay the next one is average hour per additional will be calculated like this 172.8 minus 144 divided by 8 minus 4 When you do that, you will get the answer as seventy-two. Okay. The next one, if I double the efficiency, here it is eight. Eight plus eight, which is sixteen. So total output is sixteen in this case. So learning effect when you take of this uh, cumulative average time per unit will be sixty percent of this twenty-one point six. So when you calculate that. You will get that is equal to twelve point nine six. Okay, and the next one is total hours. That is time per unit into number of minutes. That is twelve point nine six into sixteen. When you calculate, you will get that as two point seven point three six. When you do the calculation, okay. And the last one is average hour per additional. That is two point seven point three six minus one seventy two point eight divided by sixteen. Minus eight. Okay, so when you do that, you will get the answer as four point three two. So I have found out the learning effect or total hours used by sixteen units when the time required to produce one unit is hundred hours is equal to two point seven point three six. This is when sixty percent learning effect is given. Suppose if it is fifty percent learning effect. Okay. If I have to draw the table for 50% learning effect, then it will be same. We will get in the beginning. Okay, that is units produced here. Units produced, and second one will be total output. Total output in units, and third one cumulative average. Time per unit, then total hours, and last column you take cumulative hour per additional. If I consider this, see if I take the number of units in the beginning as one, then what will be total output in units? It will be one only, right? One have taken, so total output will be one. Now, cumulative average time per unit they have taken as hundred, therefore unit. So therefore it is hundred here. Okay? Total hours here hundred into one, so it is hundred itself. Then cumulative hour per additional will be hundred itself here. Okay? When I take one more, unit produces one more, double, then total output will be two. Then I have find out fifty percent of this hundred, right? What is fifty percent of hundred? It is fifty itself. Sorry, fifty itself. Now fifty into number of I mean total output in units fifty. That is time per unit into number of units will give you total hours. That is hundred. Now cumulative hour per additional will be this dif difference between this minus the dif difference between this. So here hundred minus hundred zero by two minus one one. So you get zero by one, which is zero. So we got. The cumulative hour per additional is zero. Therefore, always remember the learning effect. If it is fifty percent learning effect or less than that, is not mathematically not possible because of this reason. Okay. So most of the times when we solve the problems, we use eighty percent learning effect. Okay. Example: ABC company requires thousand hours to produce first fifty engines. Okay, first to fifteen engines to produce that it takes thousand hours. If the learning effect given is ninety percent, so this is the learning effect we have to use to calculate. Okay, find the total labor cost at rupees twenty per hour to produce total of one twenty engines. See, one twenty engines we are going to find. But what I told first to thirty engines it will take thousand hours to produce. Therefore, let me assume. Okay, 
assume 1 knot is equal to 30 engines. Okay, 30 engines. Because we have to calculate for 120 engines. Suppose if I take this as 30 units. So, for more units if I find out 4 into 30 engines will be 4 knots. So, 4 knot is equal to 30 into 4. I will get the total number of bars for 120 engines. Therefore, I take 1 knot is equal to 30 engines. Okay. So, now let me draw a table. First one is units produced. I have to consider. Right. Then total output in the next one. Correct. So, the next one is total output. Per unit. And the next one is cumulative. Average time. Average time per unit in hours are protected. In hours. Okay. And the last one is total hours. In hours. One more is not required. Okay. How we are doing in the previous cases. For the learning effect we have told that is not required here. You have to just do these four columns. Okay. Total hours. Now see. First the units produced. If I take one lot as 30 units. Then the number of units produced is one lot. What is the total output per unit? One only. Cumulative average time per unit. I have taken one unit as or you can take one lot or one unit. Okay. One unit is equal to 30 engines. Or let me take this as one unit. Okay now. So one unit is equal to 30 engines if I take. Then cumulative average time per unit means it is for one unit. How many time, how much time it is requiring for produce, uh, producing of 30 engines? That is 1000 hours. So here it is 1000 hours. Okay, here also it is 1000 itself. Now, the next one, if I double that, one if I take one more in lot or unit, okay, then total units will be, output will be 1 plus 1, total 2 units, that is 60 engines, okay. Now what I have to find out, cumulative average time per, uh, time per unit can be calculated in terms of learning effect. So the learning effect is 91% of the previous one that is 1000 so what is this equal to 91% of 1000 is 900 so this is the cumulative average time per unit and total hours is how to find out 900 into number of units that is 900 into 2 we get 1800 ok now the next one if I double if I take 2 units again ok then what will happen 2 into so 2 plus 2 4 so 4 into 30 engines will be 120 engines. So what is required is 120. So here we have to stop for this one. So here this will be the last one. So what I have to do here? 90, sorry, this is 90%, right? So 90% learning effect of this 900 I have to find. It. So okay, what is 90% of 900? Calculate. You will get that is equal to 8, 10, right? That is equal to 8 to 10. Now what to find total class? 8 to 10 into number of units, 4. Okay, when you calculate that, you will get that as 3240. Okay, that is total hours. Therefore, I got what is the total hours to produce so many engines? Therefore, total hours to produce, total hours to produce, how many engines? Produce 4 units. What is 4 units here? That is 120 engines is equal to how much? Engines is equal to we got 3240, 3000, 240 hours. Therefore, what is the total cost? Therefore, total cost I have to find out, right? So, what is the total cost at rupees 20 per unit? Sorry, per hour. So, total cost at rupees 20 per hour is equal to what? Number of hours that is 3240 number of hours total hours into cost of per hour that is 20 rupees. When you multiply this you will get the answer that is the final answer as 64,800. This is how we have to do the problems and these kind of problems are very very important for 5 marks in the exam so you have to practice well and these problems are mainly based on learning effect ok
Okay. So what learning effect is given here? That much you take. And this thousand hours per for first thirty engines we have given. So we have take one unit as thirty engines and total number of hours as thousand. Then using learning effect we have to find out cumulative average time per unit and using that total hours is cumulative uh, average time into number of units. Okay. That gives total hours.